The new demo is out for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, so we can finally test some of the new moves for the weapons. And the Insect Glaive is a weapon that I absolutely adore to play and particularly love the aerial style, even though it isn't always the most efficient. But I always wish that it had more DPS output. And let me tell you right now in the demo, the Insect Glaive has an insane ability that does huge damage depending on how you use it. So we're going to go over that and the other new moves that it has in the demo, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below to support the channel. And comment down below which weapon you you plan to main and which is your favourite in the demo so far. Before the demo was released, we had two moves that were already revealed for the Insect Glaive. The Kinsect Slash Switch Skill and the Awakened Kinsect Attack, Silkbind Attack. They both looked awesome and complemented the Aerial Insect Glaive playstyle, so I was incredibly excited to try these out. However, in the demo it seems we only have the Awakened Kinsect Attack Silkbind, but there's also the other move that is absolutely game-changing for Insect Glaive users. Furthermore, remember that in the demo, when you pick a weapon type, you get a pre-made Hunter loadout, so you can't see the skills, the stats, as well as what particular Kinsect and weapon you have, you just have to go with what you've got. This, in combination with the fact that the balance change in the demo is is likely not going to be the same as the full game, meaning the damage numbers may not be a good representation of the weapon in the full game. But for the Insect Glaive, I really hope they don't nerf this. First up, we'll talk about the Kinsect Powder type and Kinsect Bonus move that is incredibly powerful. This is a new move for your Kinsect, and we aren't quite sure if all Kinsects will have this, but in the demo loadout, you will have it available. Essentially, if you're an Insect Glaive user, you already know about Kinsect Powder. It's those little colourful clouds of dust that your Kinsect leaves behind after being sent out to attack a monster. You can do this with Kinsect Fire, which is right trigger plus right bumper, or with a melee attack version that's just right trigger. This will mark the monster and make your Kinsect attack it repeatedly as long as it has stamina, and each attack will leave behind one of the Kinsect dust clouds. The dust cloud type will depend on the type of Kinsect, and within the demo it looks like the Kinsect that we have access to leaves behind green clouds that heal you for a little bit, as well as an orangey coloured cloud which is kind of like a blast cloud. The thing is though, once you have enough of these near the monster, you can then do this new move with right trigger plus X and A together to have your Kinsect whirl around and create a sort of vortex that creates an AoE that pulls in all nearby dust and detonates them all at once. This does really good damage, and with the case of Blast Powder, it triggers Blast really quite easily. In some instances, you're able to get into the high thousands of damage with this. The thing is, in multiplayer, it does also pull in other people's Kinsect Dust. This means in a situation where four people are using Insect Glaive and creating Kinsect Dust, it can lead to some huge and spectacular damage. This new move is so fun and so awesome to use. Seriously, if you haven't tried this out, you absolutely need to, and if you can, get some friends to go into a hunt with you and try it with multiple people. If you use things like traps to keep the monster still, you can build up a lot of powder in one area and then detonate it for some crazy damage. Furthermore, it works in combination with the new Silkbind move that you can try out in the demo. This new move is called the Awakened Kinsect Attack, a technique where you hurl a Kinsect to inflict massive damage, all of your extracts are consumed, and the more extract that you had, the more potent this attack will be. After you launch the Kinsect, you'll close in with a wire bug jump to simultaneously absorb extract from your Kinsect, as well as marking the target and then chaining it into a vaulting dance. It only costs one wire bug to do this and has a medium recovery time, which is really, really good. Once you have activated this, you essentially throw your Kinsect forward, then fling yourself forwards afterwards. Once your Kinsect connects with the target, it leaves behind a bunch of Kinsect dust, and the Kinsect in the demo seems to leave behind two or three dust clouds, which synergizes really well with the new Kinsect bonus vortex that we just covered. Furthermore, it will consume all of your extract to power up the attack, but it will give you an extract back depending on where your Kinsect connected to the monster on the initial throw. After pressing left trigger and A to initiate the skill, you can hold the right trigger to get the crosshairs to appear so that you can more accurately aim the throw and the jump. This move is super cool for several reasons. One, it's cheap for only one silk bug. Two, it leaves behind several Kinsect Dust which synergize with that new move. Three, it does some nice damage while also getting you back an extract. And finally, it puts you straight into aerial mode on the monster, so you can go right into comboing for some damage. Overall, the damage with all three Kinsects is actually not too bad. It's a nice bit of burst, but really the best use case for this is right when all of your extracts are about to expire anyway, so it's a nice way to get some extra bang for your buck out of your extracts. Alternatively, you'll use this as a gap closer or an escape method. Overall, the Insect Glaive is super fun in the demo. I really hope these moves don't change, because I feel like the DPS has always been lacking on it, and these new things really just help bring it up to par. 
So let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Is it overpowered or is it okay? You tell me. We also have other weapon previews for Sunbreak already on the channel, so make sure to go check those out, but leave a like down below before you do. I'll leave you with a bit of Insect Glaive gameplay so that you can see how it plays in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Yeah. <laughs>